Shalom, I'm just I'm heading back with another video. Look, right there behind you, I saw about Big Girls, like one of the more popular grocery stores here in Turkey. I've been living in Egypt now for like the last 15 months. And so now that I'm in Turkey, I want to check out what's the deal with these grocery stores. Are groceries more expensive? Are they cheaper than they are in Egypt? I don't know. We're going to find out. So I'm going to go in the store. Whenever I find a really good deal, I'm going to point it out to you guys. Whenever I find a really bad deal, I'm going to point it out to you guys. You guys in the comments are going to judge and rate each deal that we find. All right? Let's go ahead. Okay, so we just entered into the store right now. Um, apparently, they have a self-service pizza oven inside of the store. So this right here is a pizza oven. Um, you guys can see that, it's pretty big. They have the boxes right here, and then you grab a frozen pizza, bake it yourself, and then you throw it inside of the pizza box. All right, deal number one. You get this right here, a 16 rolls of toilet tissue for $3.19. Let me know if you think that's a good deal. The brand happens to be called Viva, which in Spanish, Viva means life. And you see this right here, 58.5 Turkish Lira. So let me know if you think it's a good deal. 16 rows for $3. Even compared to Egyptian prices, this is a, a still of a deal. But let me know in the comments, deal number one, rate deal number one on a scale of one to 10. One being horrible deal, 10 being, I need to come here and grab this. Stay out of the store. So right here, you got all kind of toilet papers, baby products, all the baby products that you would possibly need, baby oils, I'm sure the brands, Feds, X that one out, Nivea, Feds, X that one out, um, you left with not too many options, but you got Goon, Looney Tunes, all right, so got a couple of options of that type of stuff, um, pet supplies right here, cats and dogs galore out here in Turkey, similar to how they are in Egypt, but these dogs are way, way bigger in um, Turkey than they are in Egypt from what I've seen so far glassware you guys know glass is important stop eating drinking and eating out of plastic if you possibly can so this is cool that they have glassware here Both. all right guys so <laughs> they're attempting to say we cannot film inside the store but one thing that we always do is continue to film so basically we want to continue to film inside the store because that's kind of what we came here to do it's a film so, with that being said, um, we found some good deals, we found some bad deals, but they're making it a hassle about recording, which whenever, whenever I look at a country, I always like to know what's the process of filming, uh, because I mean, that's pretty much what I do. Like, I'll go, go to different countries and I film. So, um, we filmed a lot of places so far in Turkey without an issue, but this is the first time we had somebody tell us not to film, uh, even though we filmed inside of Care For and like different other stores, so we'll find out. But these Migos wanted to kick us out. And it's like, what's really inside of a grocery store that's dangerous to film? That's the question we gotta ask ourselves. All right guys, so we ended up actually making it here, my beanie's off. It gets like warm and hot, warm and hot, or cold and warm, cold and warm. Our beanie's off now. Uh, we made it to this restaurant called Simon. Let me We're at this restaurant right here. So far, this is the best customer service that I've ever experienced so far in Turkey. Um, they brought us out an actual menu that is in English. Um, so I'll show you guys right here. It's a super, really, it's a really big restaurant. Everything seems to be really nice here. Um, and it's crowded. So I'm assuming that the food is going to be good. And we actually, I recommended this uh, restaurant by a Ghanaian man who runs the hotel that we're at. So um, I trust his recommendation, so I definitely wanted to come here and check it out. So we're going to go ahead and get some food in, and once the food arrives, we will go ahead and pick this camera back up. And I don't know if I'm going to include this in a video where I got kicked out of Migros. I might. Um, <laughs> I might include it in here, just like I got kicked out of Migros. Um, but yeah. Alright, they came out and brought us these really nice placemats, which of course they're promoting their brand. So you guys can see a couple of items they have. All right, so my first piece of food just came out right now. You guys can see that. Got a salad. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you guys an update. So this banana thing is really, really good. It's like a frozen banana tasting drink. I don't know what it is, but it's good. So my salad is so far really good. Um, it had a multitude of different lettuces, uh, mandarin oranges, cucumbers, um, okay, thank you. Um, 
one slice of bread. And I don't like wheat. I don't wheat makes me more hungry. So I don't eat wheat stuff. But um, carrots. Um, and I've been eating one section at a time. It also came with like some um, like a tangy dressing. It like I'm not a sauce person, but it wasn't bad. It's like um, barbecue, like teriyaki flavor is what it most likely reminded me of. This was fire. So overall, right now I'm gonna rate Simmons a solid eight out of ten. All right, guys. So I also got ice cream. Now, this ice cream is a little bit different. It's not like, I'm a cream person, okay? I love ice cream. Um, one, of, one of my favorite places is Cold Stone Creamery. <laughs> so, Cold Stone Creamery is located at standard of ice cream. You know, so I always judge ice cream based upon that standard. Now, this one is not regular ice cream. So, if you look. So, it's not normal. So, this is like far more elastic. Now, the flavor is like vanilla pudding, so the flavor is nice. However, the uh, texture is also not bad, but it's different. You know, um, with like a creamery, like coastal creamery, you just like, I like it very soft, like, you put it off the spoon, it's very it's perfect. But this one's a little bit different, but I still like it. Now, they gave me a very large container for only 50 lira, um, which is a very fair price in my personal opinion, and it's like, it's filled, like, fill up. Now, I got kicked out of Migros, guys. That's what happens, you know. But the way I look at it is like, yo, this dude's making three, four dollars an hour. What do I look like trying to make his life difficult by continue, continuing to film inside the store? You know what I mean? I remember when I was working a job, I had to do a lot of things that I didn't really want to do, I didn't even care about doing, but I had to do it because that was my job. And so I don't want to put my, I don't want to put that guy in a position where he's having to have a hard day because of, of me not wanting to just, you know, walk out the store and not film, you know? And so that's kind of how I look at it, man. I remember those days feeling like I needed to work a job to pay my rent and to pay my car and do all kinds of different things like that. You know what I mean? And then kind of getting out of that matrix and making what I used to make in a week and a day. Um, and you do that two days in a row, three days in a row. It's like, whoa, hold on. You know, it, it, it shifts. It shifts. It shifts what's possible in your mind. You know what I mean? And so that's why people are like, why did you abandon Egypt? Why did you leave Egypt? It's like, yo, expand your way of thinking. Expand your way of thinking. A man can live in multiple countries. <laughs> a man can have apartments in multiple places. A man can have multiple citizenships. A man can speak multiple languages. A man can run multiple businesses. A man can have multiple of most things. And so, you know what I mean? You can only serve one God though, you know what I mean? But a man can have multiples of, of most other things. And so, um, explain your way of thinking, explain, explain your lifestyle. But either way, click the link in the description if you wanna know how I'm able to afford to live and travel around different parts of the world. I'm still in Turkey at this moment in time, even at this place right now called Cool you firm, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go eat some food right now, man. I just want to end the video off and let you guys know, like, you guys can do more in life, expand your way of thinking, click the link in the description. I'm gonna partner with 10 people to help them to create a highly profitable online course business in the next six weeks. The link in the description is a wait list for that program. It's not finished yet. I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish the touches. Um, and once it's fully finished, um, you'll get an email blast and you'll be able to apply. Um, to do a Zoom call with me to get a consultation to see if uh, it's the right fit for you or not. All right, see you guys in the next one. Y'all willing? Shalom.